Hi, Crystal. First of all, congratulations on being selected one of 2024's uh, Biz Magazine's 20 Under 40. Tell us about yourself. So I was born and raised in Great Falls, Montana to a military man who was retired. So we stayed there the majority of my life. I met my husband at a very young age from the moment he joined the military. We've traveled the world. That brought me into teaching because we were overseas and I thought, mm, I don't want to be a stay-at-home mom forever. So I went back to school online overseas, got my degree in education. And then I taught third grade for about six years in South Carolina. And my husband tried to retire, we got bored. So I joined the military as a civilian, which then took a break from teaching for a few years. And then I just felt like something was missing, so I came back to teaching. And it's my second year back with Train School District, and I have three wonderful, amazing kids that are super active in the community. So beyond teaching, I am involved with the high school sports, travel basketball, travel football. Um, never get a break. <laughs> Very good. Let's ask this: If you had, uh, do you have any advice you would give to other young professionals? So first and foremost, embrace every opportunity that you encounter on a daily basis as a learning opportunity, good or bad. Continue to stay true to yourself and your values. Never change yourself for any situation or anybody else. Continue to maintain your health as a number one priority. You can't do anything for others if you can't take care of yourself first. Continue to maintain that work-life balance as well so that you can have your personal life as well as your professional, but also the one thing more important is to remember that acronym of CLAP, which is to celebrate life and those small successes. No matter how small it could be, just remember to take that moment to embrace everything you encounter in life and celebrate it so that you don't forget those small things that matter. Very good. Uh, the third one is a fun question. If you were an animal, what animal would be in life? Immediately an octopus because between, like I said, having my own personal life, my children, being a teacher, having to continuously multitask both personal and professional, an octopus's hands are all over the place and busy, multitasking multiple different things at all times. Plus they can also kind of wash themselves, so it's almost like a team, not quite. So, octopus definitely. Very good. Well, again, congratulations, and uh, we look forward to seeing you at next month's event. Thank you.